Hi, this is Mr. Gamble. It's Saturday the 19th of November and today we're going to be having a look at a race at Ascot and the race that we're interested in today is going to be the 240. Now, the horse we're interested in today is actually Zarkanda, but first let's say a couple of words about Yamworth. Now, Yamworth is, in my opinion, the best novice hurdler um, that there was last season. Um, I know he got beaten um, by York Hill. Um, I think there was reasons for that, but York Hill is an amazing horse. Um, but I love uh, Yamworth. He's an absolute superstar. He was one of my best bets at Cheltenham, even though he got beat. Um, and uh, from previous videos uh, you will know uh, what I think of him uh, as a horse uh, but today is a completely different ball game today he's going to take on in Zarkanda a multiple grade one winning hurdler up until this point in time Yanworth has been basically beating up 130, 140 rated horses up until he got to Cheltenham uh, Cheltenham, uh, yet yeah, York Hill's probably going to be rated 155 maybe even 160 um, and he was beaten um, Today you're talking about in Zarkanda a horse that will basically run up to 165 and Yanworth's got to give him £4. Now that means that Yanworth has basically got to come out and run to 170 in his first race for six months which pretty much is just going to be a prep race for bigger and better things that he's going to go on to from here. So the likelihood of him running to 170 I would say is slim to none. Um, Zarkanda, uh, on the other hand, is fully race fit. Um, he looked like he was going to uh, hack up in his last race at Aintree, just from just uh, apart from a slight stumble at the last fence. Um, he would have uh, comfortably run up to 165 that day. He's running over two and a half miles, which, in my opinion, is by far his best trip. I don't think three miles um, is right for him. Um, and I think that he can comfortably run up to 165 today. Also, the way the race is going to be run, uh, Yanworth will go on. Yanworth is likely to get tired late. Zarkander should be able to basically sit on his shoulder until after the last fence um, and then just go a couple of lengths clear in the last 100, 200 yards. So not only is Yanworth unlikely to run up to 170, but he's also very likely to set the race up for Zarkander too. So at 7-2, to two, that looks an absolutely massive price. Who knows what Yamworth will go on to do this year, but for this race today, Zarkanda at 7-2 to two looks enormous.